Hernandez would take the shot. Uri would take the shot. But if the ball gets to Rojas, he makes a beat. You have to knock out. No good. But who's in there for the to be back? Go to Kicks it out. Adam for three. Rather than no. Guys, you're here with Humble Hoops cruising with heat. We are here with Philippine basketball player Roosevelt Adams, and he is going to see how hot he can go with cruising with heat. All right, man, thanks for coming out. Um, I know you're a busy man. You're getting ready to go to the Philippines, back to the Philippines, yeah. and uh, get drafted. Yes, sir. So, I'm sure that's excited for you. Oh, yeah. Very excited. Uh, just another step in my journey and looking forward to it. Nice, man. So, I've known you for, since high school. Senior yeah. Year, senior year. Yeah. And uh, it's been a long time, and it's exactly where I knew you were going to be. Um, followed you. A great basketball player awesome um, teammate um, he's a very humble guy as main main reason why he's on the show right now humble hoops uh, so we're gonna get this guy in the car and we are going to cruise with heat and see how hot he can go how was the transition from the college to the pros Oh man, college, you're playing against guys my age. Um, and then when you take that next step, you're playing guys that have been in the league for five, 10 years yeah. and they have all the experience yeah. and the physicality is much different. The pace is different. So that's what's, <laughs> just handling that part of the aspect of the game is more difficult than I expected. Uh -huh. But after a while, I got used to it and it, it turned out good for me. You played in the Philippines last year. Yeah. And um, you did pretty well. I've seen all your postings and then, you know, the websites and the articles and everything everybody talking about you out there. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you think you felt um, personally how you did? Uh, in, in the first couple weeks, I was just getting used to like the system. And, I was nervous because nobody knew who I was and all these other players, they're like top name. And then I was just trying to find a role for myself and first game and for, or first practice, I just say, I started hitting my shots and everybody's eyes opened and it's like, oh man, this guy is tall, athletic, could shoot, mm -hmm. we could use this guy. And then that's where it all started. <laughs> right. Good, man. Um, so, I mean, you talk about, you know, you getting drafted. Mm -hmm. um, to the PBA um, and what what is it like a, a couple weeks or uh December 8th uh, the combines on the 4th and the 5th of December so nice. I got a week to adjust to the time change after I leave from the states and okay. hope for the best okay. we're gonna get into these hot sauces right now I don't know if I want to Looking so, deadly. <laughs> that's the first one you got to do six <laughs> six hot sauces the hottest in the world some of the hottest in the world. Um, choose what chip you want. We got guacamole, we got the regular one. I go blend. All right, oh, take man. it out, squeeze it, dip a little bit on the on the tip. <laughs> yeah, that's how daily it is. Hard to... Man, it's like okay. a scientist stuff right here. I'm just doing one drop. Yeah, do one because you got you can have a, a couple more. Ah oh, man. Yeah, you good? I'm trying to avoid the the heat. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. It's good. Not bad. Yeah, that's that's a, the the habanero. The green one. That's step one, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What What's your best memory in um, college? Uh so many. 
Um, I gotta say winning our conference championship. Right, yeah, I've uh, seen that. That's gotta be the biggest one because um, our team was, it was a special team. Um, there's not many special teams I've been a part of and cool. that one, being a senior on that squad, being the captain and having a goal to hit and surpassing it, making the playoffs and getting as far as we did in final four, mm -hmm. it was a blessing. That's good, man, that's good. Oh, number two. Two, oh, you survived the first one. Not too bad. You said it wasn't too bad, so we good right now. For now, let's see. It's, it's, it's getting a little bit thicker as we go on. And darker too. Yes. Uh, oh, that was too much, I don't know. That's all right, that's not that bad. And it's a small chip, so I don't. Feel the heat. Okay. All right. It's picking up a little. Uh, it might. <laughs> you sure I didn't get number three? <laughs> I'm gonna move. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, I said the last memory. I mean, the, your best memory in college. Mm -hmm. um, what's your best memory of your first year in uh, I'll say the dagger three that I hit um, in the semifinals to get to the, or the next game obviously but that was like a clutch spot of mine um, I hit I think three three pointers before that and then I had the ball in my hands for the last shot and it felt good the, the crowd erupted never been in that feeling in my life and did it for the Philippines it was it was fun yep. big game I seen a, I think I seen a clip of that on uh, IG Mm -hmm. And then I went online and seen it. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you know, all, all, all the Filipinos that I know, they knew you and they were like, oh, you know Rose? And mm -hmm. he hit the big shot and it was, it was pretty dope. So I was like, yeah, dope. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's do number three. Let's, Man, let's the three last one up. did taste like three. Let's three it up. Might After this it. one, you got three more. I got this. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Change, change, this change it up a little yep. bit. Look at this, it's getting redder and redder. <laughs> I don't know what this is. All right. Ooh, all, all the sauce hit my tongue. Hey, we got the, we got the milk. I'm not gonna do it yet. All right. Well, if you don't do the milk, do the whole thing, then you will be the one and only champion right now. <laughs> of course, that's, this is episode one. Episode one. You're the first one. So congratulations with that. Thank you, thank you. And congratulations for, for kind of, thank you for being on the show. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, so you were you were uh, picked to go to the, the Philippines last year and um, very nice family. I uh, met your dad a couple years ago, mm -hmm. met your brother, um, very nice people. Mm -hmm. How were they, how was your family excited when they actually knew you were going and actually, you know, playing pro ball? After uh, they were very supportive. Um, they were my number one fans. Yeah. Um, they, whenever, every day they hit me up in the morning or nighttime here, but morning there. Uh, how you doing, son? Um, hope you're doing well, this and that. Keep, I'm keeping them updated every day. Um, so I've never felt like they were, it felt like they were there with me. Oh, nice. Just having access to FaceTime and all that stuff. So it was good. Um, other than that, um, I thank them for that. So yeah. it got me through the first four months and hopefully in the future we could continue this. You're out there basically by yourself mm -hmm. um how was that feeling of being by yourself for the first time a ref from your family you're thousands of miles away mm -hmm. in um a country that you have no idea right. which is basketball how was that um when you first you know when you got out there and how did you transition into being okay with it well, I'll tell you much, it was much different from leaving for college. I'll tell you that part. College, I was excited to leave and it's like, I'm away from my parents for the first time, so I'm gonna do whatever I want. I have money from them sending me money stuff. So, but this time going to the Philippines, 
I don't know the language, the culture. Uh, I have family out there, but they're always busy. So you don't know, you don't know Tagalog? No, <laughs> no. My mom was too lazy to teach me. <laughs> but I know the the simple words like kuya and salama. But other than that, that's all I need to get around the city. But being by myself, um, it was hard for a couple of weeks. Um, getting used to the food. Uh, trying to how's the food? The food different it's different it's yeah. very different uh mcdonald's they serve rice no oh like <laughs> that was like the biggest thing i was like oh i see mcdonald's no fries all rice oh wow it was, it was different <laughs> burger king same way but, but let me get a cheeseburger and let me get a side of rice <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it was, it was hard like i was losing weight the first couple weeks um just trying to get used to the food and being by myself all the time really sucked, but once I got to know my teammates and all, we hung out a little bit and it was a good experience. Like good. going through the ups and downs was always yeah. a good experience. And you grew you grow from that. Exactly. Yeah. So. Exactly. Five. We got five. No. Yeah. Five. Let's, yep. Let's do it. No, four. Four, four. yeah, you're four. right. Four. I was trying to <laughs> jump out of that one real quick. Yeah. Trying to skip one. Nah, <laughs> we gotta do all of them. Oh man, this this look dangerous. Now that's going that's going. This one tickle your tongue a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Mm. You ready? You're not gonna forget that one. <laughs> all right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, mm. we're getting, we're heating up. Mm. We're heating up. Mm. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Need to swallow that one quick. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo, what's the next question? <laughs> okay, so, um, where'd you grow up? Where are you from? Born in Arizona, but uh, a military kid, so I grew up in Japan for nice. like four years and then came back to the States and went to San Diego for a couple years and came to Hemet, the IE spot. Okay. Ooh, that's hot. Woo. No water needed though. All right, you, you gonna go through the whole thing? I'm trying to. I oh. got represent for the first episode. Hey. Got to look good. And how are um? So your dad was in the military, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm sure it's a military household. Yeah. And how um you know how did you grow up with that? Like what morals did he instill in you? Because I see it. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, when I first met you, I was like, this dude is. He's awesome basketball player, but you wouldn't even know that he's that good because he doesn't really flaunt it much. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen you dunk on people. I've seen you cross people up. I've seen you step back. This is all in high school. <laughs> so you're doing even more now. I've, yeah. I've seen it on the internet and everything. You're doing more now and you just stay calm and cool. Mm -hmm. um, so how, how do you, how do you, you know, matter of fact, let's, let's go back. How, mm -hmm. how do you, how were you raised? Like how did that, you know, raise you? Come from a military family, respectful. Uh, strictness was very helpful. <laughs> um, my mom was always strict on me. You can never go out the house until a certain time. My dad was never there because of the military. Obviously. Curfew, but, what's the curfew? Whew, when that light come on, Ooh. you better get into the house. Old school. Yeah. Okay, yep. I feel it. <laughs> but yeah, they are always on me about schooling. Uh, grades was always first, basketball was always second. Uh, on the basketball court, my dad always told me, like, be respectful to your opponents type thing. No matter what the skill level is, uh, be respectful. Um, be a team player, obviously, and it'll take you a long way. And as you can see, it's oh, done yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Five. Number five. It's probably... <sighs> doing six. He's doing six. You're doing the fifth one. So he's almost done. And he's yeah. his tongue is burning. He's not he's not gonna try to do any milk or anything right yeah. now. No. Nope. Oh, um, you get, what which one was this one? Uh, this, oh, this is number five. That was like the the hot taste like barbecue. It smells like it too. It smells bomb. Oh yeah, it smells bomb. I don't like what it. it taste? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, that's hot. No water though. <clears throat> You gonna stick it out? I'm gonna stick it out for that last one, but all right. Mm, meantime, uh, you were a late bloomer. Um, what? Um, told me late bloomer, mm -hmm. and I didn't believe you. 
um, when I met you. I found out. I didn't believe like you ain't been that long. Mm-hmm. Um, but seeing that you're, you know, very talented and stuff, I'm like, this, this kid's gonna go far. So, how being a late bloomer? How did that? How did you develop like so fast? Like, what did, what did it take to develop that? Um. Well, when I was younger, I always was around basketball, obviously, but I was playing other sports. So I never had that full 100% focus on basketball um, until I got to maybe a freshman in high school and I wasn't as tall as I am now. So I really had to work and work every day to get where I am. And I'm continuing still working as of right now. How tall are you? I'm 6'5". 6'5". 6'5". 190, 185, one of those. I'm trying to get the 195 though. Guard. Yes. Wingman. Mm-hmm. Yes. Shooter. Yes. All of the above. <laughs> he can do it all. Ladies that's, what, that's the goal. Yes. And Roosevelt Adams, look him up. Mm-hmm. Um, last one. Let's do it. Oh, man. Let's do it. I won't even do two drops for this one. Two drops? Two droppers. You sure? I'm going to show the people. On the bottom it says one drop for every I'll let two you, gallons. I'll even let you do the two drops so the people know I'm not. We're trying to get you back to the Philippines. We're not trying to, we're not trying to hurt you right now. It's good. It's good. All, all right. right. Well, this, we got the milk. It's episode one. All right. Got to go in and all Two out. drops of the bomb. Oh, let me let me pull up right here so we can, so we can see the expression and everything. Because mm-hmm. I, I took a little bit of this on a, a little stick yeah. at the store. Nah, I was sweating. I had to take my sweater off. Mm. All right, here we go. All right. That's one. That's two. We got two Look, separate drops. It's boy. baby drop, but you're going to fill it. Yeah. <sighs> oh, no man. water. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, this one hurt. Mm. <laughs> the taste hurt. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All mm. right. Before we get out of here, we're gonna do five, five, six quick questions. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. So you can talk. Yeah. Hey, the cooler's right there. Woo! If you need it. If you need it. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. All right. Okay. Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant? Ah. Uh, I'm gonna say Kobe because I never grew up to watch Jordan. Okay. So I gotta say Kobe. That's a good explanation because mm-hmm. your, your older team is gonna be like, what? Mm-hmm. Especially if Lamar Odom sees us. <laughs> um, oh yeah, you did. You played with Lamar Odom mm-hmm. in uh, Mighty Ones mm-hmm. basketball team when he when Ma- Lamar went over there and played. Um, so Ooh, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty good, man. Got a, Sweating got a, here. Pizza or burgers? Burgers. Okay. Summer or winter? Winter, cause Philippines have no winter, and it was horrible. The weather. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So I gotta say winter. Okay. Woo! Candy or popcorn? <clears throat> candy. Candy person. What's your favorite candy? We talking about chocolate. We talking about anything. Mm. Uh, it could be sweet. It could be chocolate. It could be sour. Uh, the first thing I always comes to my mind is Twix and Kit Kats. Okay. Give me a break. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, please. I'm sweating over here. All right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, man. Yes. This, mm. We got the water. We got the horchata in there. We got the um, whole milk in there. Whew. Ice cold. So I need this. <laughs> mm. Yes. Uh, so you didn't get the you didn't get the championship. I try. Man. I try, people. I try. What's your favorite movie? Um. I would say love and basketball, but I don't want to be that typical basketball player to say that. So I'm gonna say That's Coach a, Carter. Yeah, I like Coach Carter. Actually, we're gonna to try to get Antoine Tanner on the show too. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's that's one of my candidates. Okay. Last question. Oh. Stacy Dash, Janet Jackson, or Jennifer Lopez. Gotta go with my girl J Lo. J Lo. J Lo. On the block. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my lady. I don't care how old she is. <laughs> <laughs> you still got it. I know it's yours. From the fly girls to now. Mm-hmm. You didn't know she was on the fly girls. 
<laughs> of the fly girls. <laughs> I think that's too old for me. No, was, no. She, uh, she was one of the dancers for In Lemon Color. Mmm. I used to watch that. See, I'm you, not gonna you, lie. That was her on there, huh? I think I knew it was her. My mom probably told me, but I didn't pay attention. See? Mm. There you go. And she looked the same. Yep. This is Cruising with Heat, Humble Hoops, Roosevelt Adams. Thank you for coming to the show, man. Thank this you. This is the first episode, and it's, it's, it's an honor to have you and uh, on the show and to see you after all these years and to know that you're doing great things and it's going to be even greater. Um, been praying for you, um, hoping, you know, that you do great things over there and and just... And this this guy, he stays humble no matter what. Um, you get this guy fifty million dollars right now, he'll be the same dude. I could probably text him be like, "Yo, let's go get something to eat." If I was like, "Okay, cool." So thanks for coming out, man. Good luck in the draft. Um, hopefully, you get picked to the teams you want to get picked for, and go out there ball out. We really appreciate it. Do you have any shout outs? You want to shout out to anybody? Uh, I want to shout out to my new wife. Um, oh, love yeah. you. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you got you. married how long ago? Uh, the end of October. So I, I think I'm three weeks in. Okay. So. Three weeks in and uh, pretty awesome. Ladies, don't hit him up. He's not on the market. Sorry. At all. <laughs> so <laughs> don't even bother. Continue to shout out. Uh, my parents love you guys. Uh, you guys are my backbone, my supporters, my brothers. Uh, you guys are my motivators. Uh, every day I want to get better for you guys. And um, everybody else, my friends, everybody I couldn't remember or mention, I appreciate you guys. And then this guy right here got me into basketball, loving it all over again. And um, I want to thank him and uh, support him. Uh, buy his gear, everything, and um, love this guy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So go over there, man. Do your thing. Thanks for coming on the show, and uh, we will keep in contact, man. Oh yeah, appreciate of course. that. Thanks. Thank you.